Hey YouTube, I thought I would just do a, a follow-up video here. This was requested on uh, Reddit by some of the people that stumbled across my video that I did for the uh, live stream comparison. I did uh, Intel, my old Intel CPU, quad-core i7, Devil's Canyon, Haswell versus uh, the Ryzen R7-1800X that came out almost about two weeks ago now. Um, so I upgraded to the Ryzen, so I thought, you know what, the reason why I want this is because I want a CPU that can handle a much better compression X264 setting for live streams so I can easily build up my Twitch channel without having to use such a high bit rate so I can get a lot of people that watch me on mobile devices like smartphones, tablets, you know, stuff like the Surface Pro, uh, bra like console, stuff like that. And they don't have, or even people who don't have a lot of like internet, high upload, high download speeds, so I guess if you're a viewer, you're, it's the download speed that counts. Um, but I wanted to see, like, is it how, wh what is Ryzen actually capable of? So someone on the Reddit post saw my medium preset comparison that I did, uh, and they wanted to see what slow would look like. So I took it a step further. I actually went and did slower. At first, I started out with slow, and I, and I, I took, like, a one-pass test, and I looked at what it looked like, and I could tell there's no frames dropping. Uh, average CPU utilization, while... Uh, playing a game like this one here, Final Fantasy, and live streaming it or encoding it rather in X264, at the slow preset, I'm seeing a maximum utilization of around 65% across all 16 threads. Actually, it's more like 14 threads, and then the last two, so that last core uh, in the second CCX is kind of kind of hanging out and doing some stuff randomly. But well, then when I cranked it up to slower, so I was like, you know what, let's do, let's take it up to the max. Let's go slower, 100%. Super Saiyan 3. So Ryzen basically goes Super Saiyan 3. And as you can see in this video, this is actually encoding at slower. Uh, so this is as low as you can go. The highest compression you can that OBS Studio can handle. And this is the result you get. So the settings are 2500 kilobits per second. Uh, we are using Lancos filtering. We're downscaling to 720p. Uh, the game is running natively at 1080p. You can see there it's on a standard laptop 1080p. Standard laptop because we want to eliminate any GPU bottleneck. So we want to make the CPU be the one that is basically the central point here where everything is leveraging that horsepower. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's for the most part, it's smooth. Um, and I think if you're an aspiring live streamer, I think something like the R7-1700 is sufficient. I think you would be able to do the same thing that the 1800X is capable of doing here. Um, and plus you can overclock it in the future. Now, keep in mind that this video footage was recorded while the 1800X is running at stock. And when I was checking the speed, while encoding at the slower preset, it only handles, it only goes up to 3.6 gigahertz, so it runs at its base clock. It's not able to turbo up. XFR can't really kick in because all the threads are loaded. So at slower preset, you're looking at every single 16 of those threads, all 16 threads from Windows 10 are actually doing work, and the average CPU utilization that I've seen on slower is anywhere from 56 to about 74 uh, percent with some extreme cases where i am seeing it actually go to 97 percent i think the highest i saw was 97 percent and then there may have been some instances where it spiked to 100 and when it did that there were frame drops so if you look if you examine the video closely you will see there are i think i counted maybe two or three instances where I did actually see frame drops in the recorded footage so that tells me that slower is kind of right there borderline at the limit in terms of what a stock Ryzen 8 core can do so it's roughly the same as the Intel's because I'm pretty sure uh, unless there's anyone out there that can correct me but people who are streaming on Twitch that are per that are not partnered are prob if they have like an X99 or an X79, they're probably not using slower preset um, because it's probably unreliable, kind of like what's shown here. Now, for the most part, depending on the game, if the game's not all that like 3D heavy in terms of the graphics and stuff, or it's the CPU threads, like this is an MMO, uh, it'll probably be okay, but I would recommend going no lower than slow. I think for, for streaming, 
downscaling, especially to 720p, whether you're doing 30 FPS or 60 FPS, uh, I think that slow, medium slow is is probably like the limit. M slow probably is, I would say, the, the good limit. Slower is kind of pushing it. This is a slower footage, but slower is kind of, you know, I don't know, depending on the game, your mileage may vary. Uh, now, this doesn't take into account overclocking. Overclocking may actually clean that up. Um, so that's something that I may revisit in the future. Um, but you can see that there there are some instances where, especially this scene here, where there's like a lot of action on the screen. Um, there was one instance I just saw earlier there that there was uh, like one instance, a little bit of a stutter there. But other than that, it's pretty pretty solid CPU for X264. It's probably one of the best I've seen for the money. Like I can't I can't really recommend any of the six core Intel's because. The 6-core Intel's can also do medium, for those wondering. 6-core, like the 6800, the 6850K, those can do medium preset, so they can match Ryzen. Um, I'm not sure about slower, though. I would expect maybe they can also do slow. I'm pretty sure the 6900K can do slow. Um, but as far as slower goes, those who are just interested, I'm not sure that uh, it's, it's there's really any 8-core that can really do it. Probably the Intel 10-core, $1,700. CPU can probably handle it. I'd be surprised if it couldn't handle it since Ryzen's able to do it for the most part. Just probably about 97% capable. Um, but anyway, guys, that's basically what I had for this video. Uh, take it for what it's worth. My recommendation is use medium or slow. Um, medium because I feel like if it's medium, you don't really need to worry. Like You don't need to go back into OBS and adjust your settings depending on the game you're playing. And anything beyond medium, like, again, medium is kind of the limit, because slow, slower, at that point, you're hitting a lot of diminishing returns, where the amount of compression is kind of borderline not really worth it, because you're not really going to notice that much of a difference in terms of the image quality. Um, so anyway, guys, hope you found this video useful or helpful for those aspiring to be a professional streamer and are starting out, because I feel like the Ryzen CPU is definitely an enabler or a tool you can use to get where you want to be if that's where you're headed. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.